feel like I need to make the bed before I do something like this. Okay. Oh, Rabbit's out of girls. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a sunny Seoul. I'm in South Korea. Now, this has been a trip that I've been planning for probably five or six years. I tell you what, lads, I am absolutely bloody delighted to be here. Like, I'm so excited. I've been to Japan three times now. I absolutely love Japanese car culture. It is insane. I absolutely love it. And there is a wealth of content from that region of the earth. And I just think, I was thinking to myself, you know, I've been chatting away to this brand in Seoul called Peaches for probably, I think it is six or seven years. And I just thought to myself, do you know what? I've been talking with these guys for so long. I've always wanted to work with them. I'm gonna pull the pin. I'm gonna go and make a trip to South Korea. And that is exactly where I am. I decided that I was gonna go probably about three weeks ago. I brought my friend Fraser with me who works at String Theory. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine and he loves all things niche car culture. So this trip was just heaven. We're actually out here to take a look around see what the car culture scene is all about in Seoul. I mean, the vibe of this place is unreal. We got here a couple of days ago. I've been suffering a little bit with jet lag simply because I was in LA like a week or so ago. And then, so I went eight hours back to then eight hours forwards for a few days to now I'm eight hours forwards again. So like my body clock has been a bit mental recently. So yeah, just suffering with a bit of jet lag, but I tell you what, I'm super duper excited. I can't wait to tell you all about Peaches. I mean, this is a brand that I absolutely fell in love with when I was searching Instagram, when I was into all my streetwear aesthetic, when I was uh, still working at the agency in London. And yeah, here we are six years later and there's some big things coming guys. I'm really, really super excited. And Rio and all the guys at the brand are just absolute dreamboats. So nice to work, so cool. I never realized how cool South Korea is. Their style, is unbelievable. It makes us lot in the UK just look like we're wearing potato sacks. It's a joke. Um, we've been very kindly lent a Hurricane STO by Rio to kind of drive around Seoul and take in the sights. So I'm gonna run downstairs. Let's go meet Fraser. Let's jump into the STO and let's get cracking with the day. It's gonna be an exciting, it's gonna be an exciting week, lads. I'm very excited. See the ballet coming with the STO now. It's a rather fetching shade of yellow as well, which is perfect. Hi. Good morning, Fraser. Good morning, Becky. How are you? Yeah, great. Well, this is cool, isn't it? Mmm. Sun is out. I'll be really honest, before I came here, I actually had no idea whether they sat on the right and drove on the left or sat on the left and drove on the right. So it was all a bit of a, an experiment when we picked the car up last night. I was kind of like, uh, not quite sure where or what, but actually the, the signage system and all of the road markings are super simple to work out. I've never driven in Asia before on the roads, so it was a little bit of a suck and see situation. But so far, so good. I'm obeying all the speed limits. Um, I'm just having some fun. You know what, I forgot what it was like to drive a hurricane night. It's, it's always about the downshift in these things. And this is the STO, so it's kind of like the, I think it's a Super Trofeo homologation special. Oh my God, we have an alarm. And I'd also forgotten where the indicators are there on the steering wheel, but these are all teething problems. We are doing fine. I just need to make sure I don't sit too far in the right-hand lane. It's fine, we were gutter riding a little bit. <laughs> just so you were like, oh, Becky, you are taking up this man's lane. <laughs> Becky, fine. there's a man. <laughs> <laughs> but cool, we're gonna head over to HQ now and kind of meet up with all the guys. I think we're going to meet some people today, but we'll we'll keep it easy with where what we're doing. Hey. 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 Hi. Great. Look at this. the SDO up and we're coming in to the Peaches HQ. Now this place is so cool. Peaches is a lifestyle brand so they have clothing at the core of it but they're doing so so much more than that. I mean it actually baffles me. They've done collaborations with Coca-Cola, they've done collaborations with Hyundai, they've done collaborations with Playboy. Like the list is absolutely endless. So this right here is like their space where people can come down, see the cars, because they always have like a cool uh, selection of cars in the in the parking lot here. But as you can see behind me, we've got like the LTO E30 that they built. So Kaiser's brand, Live to Offend, they did two of these cars. They've got an E36 in there and also the E30 behind me, which looks pretty crazy actually. 
Oh, they also did a collaboration with Gran Turismo. I mean, honestly, you would not believe how much this brand are doing, and it's all happening here in Seoul. I think one of the biggest things that we've been, not surprised at, but the amount of collaborations that this brand has been doing has been mental, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it seems like whatever they want to do, they just will it into existence. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, I mean, I just love, like, they've even got all the peaches on the Recaro pole positions. Like, they know how to brand everything. The aesthetic is super cool. I love these wheels. These are BM1s. I had a set of these on my E21, but I had a two-piece set. These are 17s, but my ones were just a two-piece, whereas these are the three-piece, which I think look loads better. They've got, like, a big heavy dish on them, but I absolutely love these when they're on my E21. But I will say they suit the E30 so well. Like the overall look of this car is crazy. Like if you imagine coming down the street driving this, it looks pretty mad. Up here they've got like a skate park, they've got like a little chill out area. Like it's just nuts. Here we have an NSX and I'm gonna take you in here in just a second where this is where the fun cars are. You see E36, the only RWV in Korea and Rio's very own Murcielago is in there as well. There's normally just loads of stuff. They've got the G-Wagon, they've got the Performante. But the great thing about this space is they literally have everything. So you've got like a hookah bar, you've got like a burger joint, you've got like a desserts place, you've got an ice cream place. This is what Seoul do really well. Like if you have a clothing store, they make it into a concept and a destination. And I mean, I just love it here. It's so cool. Let's have a little look through here. At the Obey. Well, these were done by Shepherd Ferry when he came over. So actual Shepherd Ferry from Obey did all these stencils and then up in the skate park upstairs there's more like he's branded the whole thing sticking all up like that's what I mean about how they do this so well this isn't just someone come in and sprayed it up like literally Shepard Ferry has come in to do this let's have a little look through here take you into the store this is all the peaches branding like I've always loved the aesthetic of it to say this is just a streetwear clothing store and loads of people come here to like make content this is the ice cream parlor coming through to here. Oh, we're interrupting a photo shoot. And we have the cars here. Actually, they did this, and then there is a Dior store around the corner, and they copied this design, and they had the half-cut cars all coming out of the garden there. So a lot of the Peaches followers were like, come on, lads, you're copying, copying the vibe here. This is the hookah bar. So in here, they have literally all their parties around with the brand. But this is all like the DJ booth here, but I absolutely love this neon. Like, look at that. See what I mean about the aesthetic of the brand? They just get it right everywhere they go. Here, they've also got like their own personal bar area. So this is the retail space here. You'll see the doggy. You can get all your desserts here. Like, Notted is a big brand, which is in South Korea. Love this, 997. I just love the way they've just got it parked up. The whole thing about Peaches is it's car culture, but it's transcending that. This is all their new collection. They did a big collaboration with Playboy, so this is their latest collection where they actually did a Hyundai Pony. You can see it on the back of the jacket there. Like This is super nice quality as well. I think these sold for about $600. But like the whole thing is just done so well. You can get so many little bits and pieces branded. As I say, these guys did a collab as well with Rawell B Griff with RWB. So they have all of this here as well. I'll take you in to see the cars in just a second. Like, look at it, like people just come here to hang out, get some dessert, do some shopping. They just got it on luck. Like I love it. Hi, hi, hi. This is where yeah. the magic happens. In here. So this is where they keep the cool cars. I mean, I don't even know what this is. Joshua, what, what is one of these? So it's Hyundai Granger. Yeah. So it was built in summer in 1980s. And this car. It was used for. It was used for one of the peaches campaigns wasn't right. it yeah so we use it last december yeah uh, we take off the rooftop so did you just cut and shut it yeah we just cut and shut it they've but done a leather patches for like the exposed right. pieces oh yeah yeah the I same, mean, same it's been done. oh yeah look you can see it here literally just like cut and shut i mean 
This is a bit of you, Fraser. Mm -hmm. If I could ever see a car that you would like bump about in, this is the boyo here. Check the food. So this is all um, like um, What is it? It's like abalone. What is that? It's like a, the inside of like a shell. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. You know when you get like oysters yeah, sometimes? Yeah, yeah, I thought that's like what it was, but I was like, is that actually... Mother of, yeah, mother of pearl, abalone sort of stuff. Is it like a wrap or, it, or a piece? No, it, no, it's pieces. It's actual pieces of it. <gasps> no way. So they use this in guitars on like fretboards and stuff, but you can buy sheets of it. Okay. So this might be like a man-made version, but like... That's I imagine not... it is because it's this, the shapes and stuff, but... The attention to detail is just crazy. Like whenever they do something, they do it so well, it's actually quite frightening. I remember when I first came across this brand, like six years ago, and this was before it got this big, and I was like, wow, like the way they do car culture and mix it with the content and like music and culture, it's just nuts. Including this, which actually one of my favorite things about this is this sticker, Daddy Spec. I don't think I can get away with it. Maybe you can. No, Mummy Spec. Mummy spec. <laughs> so this is Rio's Murcielago. Um, manual. As well. Yeah, it's a manual, man, a manual, a factory manual car. I mean, look at the seats. I think the, what are these out of again? They're like the newest of the new Recaros. Yeah. Nicely, nicely branded again with all the peaches on there. Like everything you see that they do, is just down to a T. This thing, this thing looks so cool. Like I love it. I think this is when they did a Lego collaboration. It's a Lego font. Yeah, because it's all the Lego font on there. But this thing, when you see the videos of it rolling down the road through Seoul, is just perfect. Because there is so much to look at, you almost just forget that there is this beautiful... Is this like ruby stone? I feel like it's a little bit darker. Mm. I could be wrong. It's definitely ruby stone type, right? Yeah. This is the first RWB in Korea. So... Peters had done a collaboration with RWB, and then they made this car, and oh my God, I remember when I first saw it, check out the three spokes. Again, branded peach, peach, oh. Again, branded with peaches. You see it says fuck the brakes there as well, which I kind of like. The center caps are great. Yeah, the center caps are all custom. Everything is custom. Mm. That's why it just works. Which one's your favorite, Joshua, out of these? All these four. Yeah? Definitely just. The RWB? Yeah. What's the story with this one? So it was like the first car in Korea. First car in Korea, first Korean RWB. Actually, it was built in during COVID time. Yes. So the Nakai-san cannot visit Korea at the time. So we actually sent the original Porsche yeah. to Japan. Nakai-san built it in Japan in his warehouse. Yeah. And he shipped it back to Korea. And now it's street legal in Korea. Yeah. You can ride in it. Does Rio drive it much? Yes, yeah, sometimes. I mean, if I had one of these, I would be out and about in it constantly. But then he's got such a collection of things to pick from, I guess. The Peaches family has a lot of cool Yeah, cars. they have a lot of cool cars. <laughs> but I would have to say this is probably my favorite, just simply because it is just so wild. Again, it's got all of the custom bits and bobs. Look, is it open? <gasps> okay, cool. But look. This thing is just the perfect spec for me. I love the roll bar with, I think they're pole positions. Oh, it's just perfect. Oh, can you see that as well on the dashboard? RWB, Korea. Love it. Ooh, make sure that's shut. But yeah, basically, all of the cars that are associated with the brand, nothing is done badly. Everything is, like, nothing is just a quick job. They make sure that everything that comes out of the Peach's house is just perfect. Here we have an LTO E36 as well. I think this is one of their newer cars. Is this one of the newer cars that they've had built? Or is it a while? I might be wrong here. They've had this one for a while. All right, forget me. This is the first time I've seen, I've seen Kaisel's E30 before. Or yeah. I've seen that in the UK, there's one there. I've never seen the E36 before. So the, to see the first one I've seen in Korea. Yeah, <laughs> come a long way to see it, considering like our friend Kaiser lives probably like 10, 15, 15 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes away from us in the UK. So. so that is the tour of the cars. I mean, there is so much more that they're doing that I can't show you right now. And the collaboration that we're doing, um, again, I can't tell you what it is just yet, but let me tell you, the car is going to look sick. Um, you will be able to see it at the LZ Fest, which is coming up in July. So I'm super duper excited about that. This is one of the reasons why I came out here to Korea, wanted to meet all the gang. I met Rio in LA a long time ago, but like it's great to be out here and really be enveloped into the Seoul 
vibe. This place is a vibe. I've been to Japan, loved it, but Seoul is just another step above. It's been so cool. Yeah. Buying my very first piece of peaches lifestyle work. Because that's how it's all gonna go down from now on. I'm about my business, tell what money